Hey everyone, it's Iowa with I Will Play. Today we're going to show you how to build an awesome, super easy ice farm. There's no redstone needed for this, no tricky components whatsoever. Super simple, you really just need three different things. Before we get into that, I want to show you a few things that ice will let you do. Why do we need ice? One of the things that you can do with ice, one of the ways you can use ice is to use it on your farms. You can put an ice block on the bedrock edition directly above or two spots above a regular block. And when anything spawns on that block, it'll push it to the side or forward, um, which will send it down one of the holes or off the side of a farm like this. So you can collect all the loot. Another way you can use the ice is for decorative purposes. A lot of people like to use it in the builds. It can be used as windows as well. Um, it doesn't have the greatest transparency, but you can see through them as opposed to other types of ice. Just the basic ice works. You can also use it as a water source block. You can see here, how do I make a pool? I have two ice, put ice here, put an ice there, and just break them open. You'll see it creates water source. It fills it up completely. Again, that can be used for just about anything you need water source for. Actually creates three water source blocks, one, two, three right here. And a lot of people like to use ice for travel. You see how quickly I can run on the ice. Not very quick, just your normal running. A little slick when you go to stop, you'll slide. But you get inside the boat and go forward. Look at that speed. A lot of people like to put it into their worlds into the nether, into other places where they can use it for tracks. We get way faster than carts or really any other type of travel that you can possibly get. And the better the ice, or the better quality of the ice, the faster it goes. There's a lot more uses for ice, but that's pretty much the main ones. So let's show you how to make this. What you're gonna need is to be up on a snowy biome. You're gonna need to be somewhere where it freezes. So anywhere where you can see snow at the top of mountains, you can build it directly up. I believe if you build it directly up in the sky, it needs to be at level Y equals 95 in order for it to freeze. You don't want to put any any torches next to the ice or it will melt it. Let's take a little ride to the top of the mountain here. And I'll show you how to build it. All you're going to need to make this farm is a pickaxe with silk touch. Bring 200 wood planks and two buckets of water or you can use two ice. How this ice farm works is it freezes all the ice that has direct connection with the sky above. Anything that's covered, as you can see these spots are covered here, they do not create ice so these are your water sources directly inside. When you break these water sources out, you break all this ice out. You can see that the water sources just fill it up completely brand new again in order to build this you're going to need a spot that is 13 by 13 could be up here in the snowy area of mountains or in a snowy biome but you need to find a spot that's 13 by 13 in order to build this farm let's make a spot now Okay, now that that's dug out, let's go ahead and place our blocks down. It needs to be 13 by 13. Okay, let's go ahead and fill out the center. The reason why I chose uh, wood blocks and why it's very important that you do wood blocks is because uh, maybe not at the very beginning of the game, but as you progress a little bit and your pickaxe gets a little bit better, you'll chew right through any stone very quickly that's underneath the ice. So as long as you place wood, then you can hit it for quite a bit without it tearing out the wood with your pickaxe. Therefore, you can get all the ice up and not have to worry about breaking your farm. Otherwise, water's going to go everywhere and it is a big pain. You do not want to deal with that, believe me. So build it out of wood. Now that our 13 by 13 is built, let's go ahead and build an edge all the way around. Go 
Okay, next we're going to put the blocks diagonally all the way across the entire farm. Easiest way to do this in survival mode is to build a little bit of just a small staircase so we can put the first one in. And then you can alternate however you'd like to do this. I like to just alternate dirt and wood. all the dirt that I just picked up. Let's go take down all of the dirt blocks. Now, like I had mentioned before, as long as you have something over the top, of the, where the water's at, then those areas will not freeze. Everywhere else will freeze. Now these could be up like they are right here, which is three high, which allows me to get underneath it. If you wanted to put it up higher, you certainly can. You can do it as high in the sky as you possibly want, as long as the water doesn't have direct straight up contact with the clear sky, then you're fine. The rest of the farm, make sure there's nothing else, tree leaves, anything else that could be covering up where the water's at, otherwise it won't freeze. Okay, now let's put some dirt blocks. In this type of a pattern, what this is going to allow us to do is to put a water source directly into each one of these, basically underneath every single one of these. So we'll just make an outline that's very simple. Just touch them at the corners, okay? Don't put one in the corner there, but one on each side, and then just touch the corners as you place them down all the way across. Now we're going to go off to the side somewhere, wherever you want that to be, it doesn't really matter. Let's just go, since I have a little ramp down right here, but let's say you don't, so let's just build one. But just an area where you have easy access to get down and then back up again. The bottom of this area, we're going to just dig out a real simple three block area. Okay, so one deep, three wide, and we're going to put one of the waters there and one of the waters there. This creates an infinite water source, so now we can take directly from the middle and it'll just keep on refilling. Now you can do the exact same thing with the ice blocks. If you had the exact same three hole slot, you can put an ice block here and an ice block here break this one, break that one, same thing again, infinite water source. You're going to want to do this because you're going to need quite a bit of water. You're going to want to put one in each one of those. Most people don't want to spend the three iron per bucket to continually uh, <laughs> have all the buckets that you need in order to do this. So we just fill up each one of those slots between all the dirt with a water source. Now we're just going to go around and break open all of the dirt blocks and it'll begin freezing before you even have all the dirt blocks out of here. Just make sure your dirt blocks are completely out so it allows everything to freeze. Just check, make sure that the farm is completely working. We have one spot here for some reason and fill all the way up. But you can just put a, a block there and there we go it's completely full again just give it a little bit of time we'll wait just a moment here see how full this gets with ice dig it out but the build itself is complete okay that was a break time of two minutes let's go ahead and knock this out I usually don't wait till it's all the way full. There's always a couple stubborn blocks that are kind of random. I don't know why it does it. It's bug rock addiction, right? Or addition, right? On bug rock dish. <laughs> you never know what weird little bug's gonna pop up. So I just break these all out.
Okay, so breaking it out completely gave us 65 ice, so a stack. It actually gives you close to a stack and a half or in that range each time you do it. So you can build as many of these as you want. You can't build them on top of each other because you block the ability for ice. I promise it'd be super easy and it is. If you guys like this video, please hit the like button. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe now. If there's any other ideas or videos or any other comments you'd like to place, please send those to me. I really appreciate it, guys. I hope you have a great day. Take it easy.